What's up guys, Abel Cool 23 here and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, transfer uh, some APK files into your Samsung uh, Galaxy S3 or whatever Android device you want f starting from a computer like that one and um, I have the file by itself here the APK as you can see I'm moving it and um, all you'll need for this is of course your APK and you'll need also to download an Android app that's uh, basically um, free and it's this one right here I don't know if it can focus it Astro File Manager that one you see that one so go ahead and download that but first watch this video through so you can uh, know now what you have to do is go to your uh, system settings and um, so, some of you have it in application manager some, some of you have it in security I have it in security and what you have to do is to go down to device administrators and you'll see unknown sources that's it it cannot focus it but that will pop up and say ok unknown sources that's it now home your device and take your cable take your cable and plug in your device there we go now the beeping sounds should pop up and now something will pop onto your computer open uh, device view files and um, now make sure that you're on your device you have it connected as a media device like so if you have it as a camera it won't work so make sure you do media device right now there we go so go to phone and then uh, scroll down to a folder now I just happen to have download so I'm going to just see I already have the APK file right here now I'm going to take it and drag Google Earth and here and that's it now what you have to do is to um, remove your device so just disconnect it like so now go to your device and once you have unknown sources enabled go to your file manager you can use Astro you can use e anything I just happen to have this one, Astro File Manager, like this one. And basically, all you have to do is to go to your SD card zero, like here, because uh, storage has your SD card zero, meaning your internal memory, and your X SD card, which means your external one. So basically, what you have to do is scroll down to download, right here. And the and it should already have the thumbnail right here, so click on it, and it should prompt you a little message. Usually, it will prompt you use Google or your default device installation. But I just clicked on set always. I set the default my own, so it's gonna pop me out this message from Samsung: cancel or install just like a normal download it will tell you exactly the permissions you need you know you know everything like that click install and Google should install bam, like this now just you can click done or open and now aha Google Earth should be right on your device click click on it and there you have it it's gonna load now of course because it's Google Earth you know I need to enable like GPS right here there we go and there you have it Google Earth fully functional it works no lag you, you know it's just like anything else now you can do this thing instead of hacking it your device like rooting it like I did you can always like do um 
do on the internet the APK searches and you can go with um, applications on Google Play that are paid things like that and have them for free on your device now the last step you have to do is to go back into settings and uh, this one is optional but I would like to keep it off go to security and basically just disable unknown sources because you never know if a virus might come out when you're scrolling the internet on Chrome or your internet browser so just have your APK file scan and yeah so thanks for watching um, this podcast available on 3 please subscribe rate and comment